Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Plank Mills Sawmill. Today I'm going to be doing some work on my log deck. I'm going to be shortening the log deck and reworking the ends. And I'm going to have to make some new runners that go from the deck to the sawmill. Uh, because I'm shortening it obviously. As you can see here, this end here is pretty bad. It's a very, very punky end of the log here. So I'm going to shorten it up some and redo that end. It's also the distance between the sawmill and the deck is it's pretty tight especially when I'm cutting longer stuff so what I'm going to do is just move it out a little ways hopefully that'll give me extra working space and also a better end as you can see this end here is completely broken out so that's another reason I'm going to be redoing it Alright, I've got this one positioned about where I want it, and I still need to put the other leg in there. On the first design, I had these front legs, I had them turned this way, and then I had this board running across to brace it, to keep it the same distance apart. What I'm going to do with this second design is I'm going to run these legs the same way as the back ones, because I want to be able to drive in here with the tractor all the way in and be able to pick something up off the mill or set a big log onto the mill something that's maybe too big to roll across the ramps from the log deck or, or you know if i'm doing a really heavy beam i want to be able to come in here with the tractor and pick something up off the mill and whatever so and before the way it was i could only come in so far before i would hit run up against that board and then what i'll do with this to keep it from tipping over is i'll just I'll put some angle braces on the outside to keep it upright and to keep it stabilized. So that's the plan. Let's get it done. All right, now I've got these positioned both right about where I want them. So now I've got to build some braces and fasten these front legs again.
Alright guys, so I got the main part of the deck rebuilt, I got all the braces back on, got them set in place where I want them, and it's looking pretty good. And the cool thing is, is with these new braces on the sides, I think it's quite a bit more stable. Um, even with these, these have been turned this way, um, but that didn't really stabilize it all that much. Um, so it was, they were pretty wildly before, but now I can, I can hardly even move them just pushing around on it with my hand, like, it's quite sturdy. I think they're a lot more sturdy this way than the first design, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I just gotta rework the ends and get ready for some new ramps. So as you can see, I'm able to drive the tractor in between there, which is exactly what I want, but there's about a quarter inch of space on this side. And I believe this back tire actually pushed this, this one over just a little bit, but that's all right. And then I did something I shouldn't have done. I set the log on the mill and I forgot to raise the log stops. So it just rolled right on off the back. So I'm gonna have to get my straps and pick it up. But as you can see here, I have more than enough space to drive in, pick up heavy things off the mill, so that's really nice. I'm happy with that. Alright, so I've got four 4x6 four beams out of that white pine log. Now all i got to do is cut them for the ramps, and then we're done.
Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I hope you find my videos helpful. Join me again next time for another video at the sawmill.